December 28th, 2020. It's Monday and um, I do hope you had a wonderful start to your week wherever you are. It's kind of a strange day today and I can't even tell you why, but that's what it is. And Pulitzer Prize winning poet Liesel Müller, who lived from 1924 to 2020, has definitely advanced to one of my new favourite poets during my one year journey of reading poetry and for me of discovering poetry and I must admit that I cannot quite believe that it's going to end in just a few days but I just had to read one more poem by Liesel Müller out of this fantastic book which I can really only recommend to anyone out there and, um, and I chose today's poem because it moves me to tears when I when I read it and it's called The Fall of the Muse. Her wings are sold for scrap. Her tiara goes to the museum. She takes off her purple gown, her long gloves. In her underwear, she's anyone. Even when she is naked, they laugh. It's not enough. They shout, take off your pubic hair, mutilate your breasts, cut off a finger, put a patch on your left eye. Now she's one of us. She laughs the small laugh of the ordinary. She gives us all equal kisses. She counts her money at inaugural balls. She searched at airports. She depends on sleeping pills. She betrays art with life. She lectures on the catharsis of dribble. She learns about the Mount Olymp from quiz shows. She moves in a circle of victims. They make her eat her heart in public. She has been bled so many times her blood has lost its colour. She comes on the stage on all fours, but insists that her teeth be straightened. Democratic, she sits with us. We share the flat bread of affluence, the suicidal water. We kill each other with jokes. She wears false eyelashes when she throws herself off the bridge. The Fall of the Muse by Liesl Müller is, I think, an incredible poem about how the tight corset of society or even people who claim to love you put you in and make you or try to make you into somebody that you are that is just not you any longer, but someone that is nicely adapted and fits in perfectly, fits with the needs of others, until you cannot bear it or yourself any longer. And I found a beautiful song to go with this really amazing poem, and it's Waiting Around to Die by the Good Tanyas. And, um, I hope you will join me again tomorrow and until then have a wonderful Monday wherever you are and take care of yourself. Bye bye.